As Higan goes for the save, they make their escape. And upon saving her life and keeping her treated in a cave, due to the ninja code of not having attachments or emotional feelings towards others, she tries to offer herself, but bro's like, nah, I'm a real shawty up. And yeah, he kept staring at her and successfully bagged her. So guys, if you're ever trying to pull a shawty and she rejects you, just keep staring at her until she gives it up. And if that doesn't work, just follow her home. Nah, bro, I'm just playing. Man, Ninja Kamui is all about unfair fades. Them boys straight signed to Jump Nation. A ninja will have to be alone from the jump to give you the faith of a 1v1. Cause no matter the case may be, you're gonna get jumped. You're sleeping, you're getting jumped. You're eating, you're getting jumped. You're crippled, you're getting jumped. You're walking, you're getting jumped. You're breathing, you're getting jumped. Like, they don't care who you are, what you're doing, or where you at. If you're their target, best believe you're getting jumping. There's no way out of the fade, buster. Now, who's ever in charge of bro's tournament bracket has a vendetta against bro? Because they always have a jump nation on go. But, hey, I know y'all ready for this heat. So, grab your golden Oreos and pink lemonade. Them shits. Fuck. Now, on with the heat. Oh, and did you know my goal is to reach 100k? Let's go. So we see Buddy on the train, nervous as hell. Just look how hard bro's sweating while waiting at the door. His ops must be Goku. Cause there's no way bro should be tweaking that hard. So immediately bro takes off but gets ambushed in an alleyway. And you see, that's where he fucked up. Cause why he running in an alleyway? That's the last place you want to be when getting chased. But hold on, this wasn't some ordinary business, man. I swear bro Clark Kent. Cause bro was getting busy showing his hands registered elite. Bro straight bitching everyone that runs up on him. And one ninja seeing his game wasn't nice with the hand so bro started spamming but bro evading with backflips that i normally will find unnecessary but bro so smooth he gets a pass and look brody gonna backflip in the air kicking the ninja midair but wait there's more hang on to your seat baby bro whips out the knife making light work of three ninjas so others started spamming from above but bro gonna hit a full 1080 midair and catch the needles with his mouth and use it to snipe two ninjas and pulls up slicing their heads off like if this ain't no moderate level reverse jumping then i don't know what is but at this point, bro started to get hold. The author said he making this random nigga too saucy, get him gone. Brody is not the MC and got him snatched up by a wire. And look at this nigga ninja looking devious as hell. He gonna send Buddy flying to the ground and cleaned his shit. But hey, bro was really solid and stood on business. And bro gonna pull out the holographic phone. I thought bro was finna take a flick. Now that would have been mad disrespectful, ain't gonna lie. But nah, it scans the body revealing his true face. But details about Buddy is unknown. Bro was really moving tech. But look at him now. He ain't moving at all. So we get greeted with the real MC who's enjoying life with his family on some light chill shit. And after seeing on the news the incident that happened to the random guy who stood on business, we know that bro is ducking Jump Nation as well. But nah, this organization is full of D1 dick riders. You are not getting off their radar. Cause the next night bro woken from his slumber like the Undertaker cause he senses danger. So he goes downstairs to scope out the scene. And two niggas was peeping through buddy's window waiting to run the fade. Like imagine a nigga staking outside your house in the middle of the night waiting for you to pop out to boom your shit. Like they really started capping on bro until he hit the corner. So bro straight violating his house but then his son screams for him. And then and there I knew shit was gonna hit the fan immediately. Like bro is really about to get hold. Cause you know if any nigga cooking at mid fight you hear someone screams for the nigga then 10 times out of 10 they're about to get hold. So bro takes off kicking this ninja to the side. Which bro really should have violated like the rest but given the fact that bro's in a hurry I can see his reason for not doing so. But unfortunately he gets sniped in the throat by the nigga he kicked aside. But he manages to make his way to the room. And there he see his wife and son dead on the floor. And bro gonna stab his wife in the neck confirming the kill. And shocked from the sight he gets stabbed in the back by the same ninja that snuck him with the needles. But like damn these niggas signed to jump nation and sneak nation certified? Nah they they built different and go hold you. But as I was watching this, I felt bro was gonna cheat this somehow and slide cause they wildin'. Look at how this nigga ninja confirmed a kill on his woman even though she wasn't the main target. But once his main target was vulnerable, he didn't go the extra mile to make sure bro was out the picture. And despite the cops being outside the crib, bro manifested enough time to sit there and touch the nigga neck to check his pulse. Like bro, if that's the case, I know damn well you have enough time to confirm the kill. Like I don't skate it. I'm starting to think 
most of these MCs don't be having plot armor for real. Cause these villains just be straight brain dead. But anyways, cheat death he did cause bro wakes up in a morgue. Passes out and wakes back up in a hospital. And after getting confronted by an agent trying to fish for info about the situation, he sends his assistant to look after bro. So while on the rooftop of the hospital, bro started having flashbacks of the incident and pulls a needle from his arm. Stabs himself and started tweaking. And needle starts to rain down on bro. So he got the moving and these ninjas pulls up ready to jump. So as a viewer, I'm like, oh yeah, it's time for bro to get his get back. So bro starts his second round of the gauntlet match straight running through the competition. Then bro hit the coldest jutsu I've ever seen from a ninja. Bro gonna throw hand signs creating a black smoke screen and it was off with their heads. And shawty tried to get in the mix but bro said bitch sit your ass down. Giving her the beer's backhand special. And bro's pupils are invisible so you know what type of timing he on. So he's walking while doing his ops dirty. And I'm not gonna hold you this has to be the most disrespectful violation I've ever seen in anime. So he throws the katana at the button of the elevator and these two ninjas looking at bro like nigga what the fuck we finna jump your ass so he grabs a pole from the ground and they all charge in and to no surprise he made light work of all of them and shoved them inside the elevator to commence the violence like bro really threw the katana for the elevator to open just so he could beat all their asses in a tight space where they can't run from the fade like the setup is crazy so now bro's in the hospital clearing the lobby and he runs into the man that killed his family and i'm sure you already know bro about to crash shout no words exchanged just run the fade cause bro with the violence so they was clashing for a minute until he got the better of his op and started stabbing away at bro now it's really sad cause he pulled up with this big final fantasy cloud ass sword just to get bested by a baby katana <laughs> And after a bit of chatting, he reveals his true face and booms, bro. And once that was all said and done, he visits his family one last time. So he heads back to the crib where he grabs a box and looks at a picture of him and his family. And bro got the reminiscing, with the flashback showing that him and his family were living in disguise. And after that, he burns the house down. And started walking away looking tough as hell with the mask and hood on and go hold you. Bro swear he in an edit. Now this is not a full review, so I'ma briefly fill you in with some context before yeah. every fight. Cause as expected, my main focus are the fights. So bro has a nightmare with the word coming from his wife's mouth being he gone. Which confirms his name that has been kept a secret. So bro wakes up and we see he had abducted the guy who killed his family. But suddenly he gone passes out. And wakes up to then getting treated by his doctor who's in disguise. And after being treated he starts to torture the ninja making him suffer for killing his family. Then lit his ass up killing off his op successfully getting his get back. So afterwards he gone was chilling at a bar until two cops showed up. And one cop started bothering the big homie you would think he gone was black the way the cop trying to press him for no reason and for disturbing the peace bro did what was right and boom the cop and the other cop tried to sneak bro but he gets violated in an instant with frog kumate so bro takes off and the next day he speaks with the agent from the hospital who had gave him his info card and was planned to meet up with the agent at a chinese restaurant to discuss the incident that occurred at the hospital but the agent really thought he could set the homie up and pulls his gun out on bro but it was quickly interrupted by a ninja who tried to boom he gun so they got the scrapping and the agent trying to chime in on the fight but almost gets boom but nah the big homie he goes for the save and as they were scrapping bro pulled a tm in fight and grew extra arms so as a viewer i'm like bro really cheating because why he solo jumping this is not fair so bro's like i bet now it's time to get active and match the energy and again they jutsu's cold as hell so he gun quickly gained the upper hand but then bro had a shadow clone behind he gun so bro got sandwiched and his op tries to go for the agent but the agent gets saved yet again like at this point just go home bro you are not built for this fight so bro sparks a flame to his katana and got back in the mix and decides to go for a drink man fight and spits fire at bro you'll swear he from the uchiha clan and pins bro to the wall and boomed his shit and just when you thought things was finished more ops pulled up for the smoke and tried to light they ass up and when that didn't work one of them pulled out a rocket launcher and tried to boom they ass but they managed to get out the way but bro's ops on top man cause a rocket launcher is absurd and we see some niggas plotting and we find out that he guns an exiled ninja so the boss is sending his man on a mission to boom his ass and this modok looking ass nigga is one of them but yeah a few days pass and he gone leaks back up with the agent who had his assistant pull up his well and as they're chilling in her car investigating
to getting a company named Alza that seems to be working with the ninjas. He guns ninja since it started tingling, so he moved the agent out the way. So the agent started dumping on bro, but he missed every shot. Like you really wasting screen time right now, bro. Drop the gun and just go home. So he guns senses the ninja's presence and stabs underneath him. And Shawty excited as hell, but suddenly they get rammed off the street. And wasting no time, a ninja in all red looking like a squid games guard pulls up spamming projectiles at bro. But that's light work for he guns, so they started to get in the mix. Then bro sprouted tentacles. So again, since they want to cheat, bro matched the energy and grew six extra arms and started dragging bro. But bro's like, oh no, nah, let me go and shoots a missile at he gone. But bro makes light work of it. So the ninja got the spamming more projectiles trying to snipe bro midair. But he guns we nation certified. And hits bro with the setup and booms bro shit. And takes the ninja camera and kicks him off the building. And with he gone knowing he's being spectated, he lets the zesty Modak ass nigga know that he's cooked. After that, Higan gets a call from a ninja who recites a code that he is all too familiar with. And he lets Higan know with them being in a similar situation that he can help bro out so he sent bro the location to pull up at. And that it's up to him to trust him or not. So as he's on the road, he starts to think about the code the guy on the phone had said and we then get hit with a flashback. Where we see him and his ninja colleagues receive ninja code names to use from their master. And Higan and his two teammates, Mai and Zai, which we already know Mai is his soon-to-be girlfriend, were out on a raid. And during the raid, Mai was shot by a woman hiding in the closet protecting her child. And as he gone goes for the save, they make their escape. And upon saving her life and keeping her treated in a cave, due to the ninja code of not having attachments or emotional feelings towards others, she tries to off herself, but bro's like, nah, I'm a real shawty up. And yeah, he kept staring at her and successfully bagged her. So guys, if you're ever trying to pull a shawty and she rejects you, just keep staring at her until she gives it up. And if that doesn't work, just follow her home. Nah, bro, I'm just playing. But yeah, they later get saved by their friend Zai. And panning back to the present day, bro, mission was about to start. So bro on the phone giving him the rundown. And after that, it was to his destination he go. So bro starts to move in. Why he started flexing with those unnecessary ass backflips, I don't know. But he gun starts to invade the facility with bro in his ear telling him how to move. So he jumping around, swimming midair. I ain't never seen some shit like that before. These ninjas really built different, huh? So bro starts moving through these lasers with pure elegancy time. But unfortunately, his sweat touches a laser and the alarm goes off. Which is crazy, because I never thought about it like that before. Because what people main focus is to not touch the laser with their body. Just the fact that sweat alone triggers a reaction is crazy, not gonna lie. But yeah, they pulled up and started firing at bro. But bro in his ear said keep it pushing, so he made quick work of the three guards. Now, I don't know if bro stepped on a sonic speed boost, but when did bro start running so fast? But he makes it to his goal. And dude in his ear tells him he'll open the barrier and once he got close. Oh, my nigga named Zai who's a friend from the past that we've seen in Higan's most recent flashback. And who's also the guy in his ear if you didn't know. Tried to boom him. It's crazy. He was really setting bro up this whole time to run the fade. A W dedication. And yet yeah, Ninja Kamui is absolutely pure He. <laughs> And I just know they about to throw hands the next episode. Now, with that being said, whether you're from TikTok or YouTube, don't forget to drop a like. And follow and subscribe if need be. We moving. Also, I'm taking recommendations, bro, so hit the comments. And more heat on the way.